Everybody thinks I'm weird. Of the classic Disney princesses, Ariel was the only one to have a child. Fans have theorized why this is the case, but is it just a coincidence or is there good reason for it? Let's find out. Let's go! It's time for some magic. The Little Mermaid is generally considered the first film of Disney's animated renaissance. A period of time between 1989 and 1999 when Disney had a decade of critically and commercially successful animated films. While some call it a renaissance, I call it my childhood. After The Little Mermaid's massive success, Disney decided 10 years later to make a sequel, The Little Mermaid 2 Return to the Sea. In this sequel film, we follow the journey of Melody, Ariel's daughter. Melody desires to return to the sea, which her parents have forbidden her from doing. I can't help it. I just love the sea! Hey. The fascination fans have with this film, other than its low critical rating, is that it is the only case of a classic Disney princess having a child. Seems strange that after so many happy ever afters in classic Disney films, we don't see more princess babies. So why is this the case? The first theory is that Disney loves to keep close to the myths and legends they adapt their stories from. In the case of The Little Mermaid, the film borrows from several different legends of merpeople as many countries have their own version of merfolk. The biggest influence for The Little Mermaid, however, likely comes from ancient Mesopotamian mermaid lore, most prominently Atargatis from ancient Syria. Atargatis was sometimes described as a female mermaid goddess who had a child with a human man. Atargatis... Ariel... Ariel Gattis? Anyway, they both had a female child as well. Atargatis had Semiramis, and Ariel had Melody. We love you for who you are on the inside. Now, this theory about keeping strict to the original tale is an interesting one, and pats Disney on the back for doing their homework. However, The Little Mermaid 2 is not the first film to have a story following the next generation of the original royal character. In the case of The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, we follow a prince's daughter, rather than a princess's daughter, Kiara. In the film, Kiara has a Romeo and Juliet type love affair with Kovu, a lion from a rival pride of lions who is meant to be Scar's successor. The film makes it very clear that this is not Scar's son. If Lion King is Hamlet, then Lion King 2 is Romeo and Juliet, following in a trend of these films being based on the works of William Shakespeare. But I digress. The reason I bring up Lion King 2 is while Simba is not a princess, we do have a second generation story in this film, and in my opinion, a very good one. So I don't believe Disney only made Ariel have a daughter just to stick to folklore. More likely, after the critical success of The Lion King 2, Disney thought this was a good formula for a sequel. But something came up. And so I present a new theory. After Lion King 2's success, Disney likely wanted to expand the other franchises in the same way. Oh, you like Kovu toys? Maybe you'll like Melody toys too. But not all sequels are created equals. Little Mermaid 2 was made after Lion King 2, trying to go for the same sort of success, but it was critically panned. Disney still found financial success in Disney sequels, they just feared following the stories of the children of their beloved characters since that was what critics were so, well, critical of in The Little Mermaid 2. Disney then chose to refocus sequels on already established favorites from the first films. They thought people may not like Mulan's daughter, but we know they love Mulan. So let's just show more Mulan and maybe some more of those three guys who bullied her in the first movie. What could possibly go wrong? Did this refocus work? Well, take a look at some of the reviews from other direct-to-video Disney sequels and you'll see they really had a good thing going with Lion King 2. What happened? The theories have been presented. We will never know for sure what the truth is until someone from Disney confirms it. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe so you don't miss more of our content. We're a big fan of theories here at the channel, so if you have any of your own ideas or your own suspicions about why this might be the case, please feel free to share them below. And thanks for stopping by The Things Animated.